Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ali Santini and today's video is a vlog of getting my driver's permit. Pretty windy out here. So I just checked in, that's the EMB place. So I got my driver's permit in three days. The first day I basically just did a course. I didn't film that much that day because you know, I was just studying. There was not much to film. But here's a snippet of the end of the day when I finished the course and I did my exam. Hey guys, so I just did the drug abuse thing and this is what I got. Good job. 100%. I'm covering the, like the little code that they gave me. So the next day, I started studying for the exam. I am currently taking notes. So let me show you guys all the notes that I've been taking. It might look a little messy to you guys, but like this is very effective to me here all the symbols it's been taking me kind of a while today right now it is let's see what time it is it's 7 13 p.m right now i kind of started at like three but today i did take some breaks and i had like a zoom meeting at five so that took like an hour of my day and i had to go with my mom somewhere so that also kind of like took 30 minutes from it Yesterday though, I started at 3, I ended at 9.20, I was non-stop studying hard. We're getting there, being very productive, and we'll see how far along I get today. Also, I just wanted to show you guys that even though like I'm reading it here, I have like the audiobook thing here on YouTube, so I just like listen to it while like I'm reading it. I did take the course and exam on the website of National Highway Administration. I'll put the link down below so you guys can get it too. I love the website. If you guys want any video explaining exactly what you need and how this website can help you, I did a video on how to get your driver's permit and what you need and tips about it too. So the link about that will be listed down below. Hi guys, so I, I finished reading. Finally, I finished reading the handbook. I finished, oh my hair. <laughs> it is like now it shows like study guide questions for like the knowledge exam and it is currently like let me see let me see what time it is it's currently not 8 47 you guys can barely see it it's 8 47 i don't know if i'm gonna take it right now the test because i know everything right now right and i've been studying for the past hours and i don't know if i should need to take it right now i'll let you guys know in like five seconds Five minutes because I'm gonna figure it out. Hey guys, it is literally been it's been two minutes because now it's um it literally breaks on me. It's been two minutes because it's 49 now and I'm gonna take the private not the private, what am I saying? I'm gonna take the pri I think I'm too tired for this. I've been studying for hours. I think I'm gonna take the practice test right now. Um yeah, this is what the screen looks like. Um, yeah, see practice test. This part kind of scares me because it says like permit test, but then here it says practice test and yeah, I am in the right section. I just, I want to see how many I get right and how many I get wrong, you know? And I can retake this as many times as like, I want. Why is the screen red? And I want to see if I do well or not. And if I don't do well, then I'll just take it again tomorrow, the practice, and then I'll take the actual test. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Hi guys, little update for you guys. I did pass the test exam. Here is like the little thing for you passed. Yay, I passed, right? Super excited. Right now is, right now is 9, 11 p.m. I don't know if I should take it today because I passed with a grade of 84. Now I wanna see which ones I got wrong, kinda of go over that. Also, just to give you guys like explain how I did it. Basically, um, since I got an 84 and it's 40 questions out of, no, it's 50 questions, you can get a 40 out of 50, that is 80%. That's the lowest you can get and still pass. I got, um, I think it's either 42 or 43. Yeah, so I got 42 out of 50 and that's how I got an 84%. The questions that I got wrong, some of, some of them were because I kind of like read it wrong though. So I don't know if I'm gonna take the test. But then again, like the test is like the same thing, but like the real test. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do it. A few moments later. I passed, yes, I passed. <laughs> Thank God, I passed with zero questions to get wrong. Like I got exactly 10 wrong. I got my 10th question wrong at the 49th question. <sighs> well, luckily my last question was about alcohol. 
and it was like, what does alcohol do to you? Does it slow you down? Or does it accelerate you? Or does it do nothing? And obviously, it slows you down. So I passed. I'm so glad. Yes, I passed. I got my permit. I am so excited because I did it. I got 10 wrong, but that is okay. The test had so many like trick questions, but I did get a 40 out of 50. I got an 80%, which is like the passing grade. And I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow. Actually, that is incorrect. I did not go the next day because when I looked at the website, it was only a month availability from there. So I was only able to go a month after that. So yeah, I'll take you guys with me. Um, now all I need to bring, it says, I need to bring proof of ID, social security number, proof of completed course, and then a residential address. And then there, apparently I'm gonna take the vision test and hearing test. Hi guys, it's really windy out here. So I just checked in, that's the DMV place. I just went there, I just put my name because I got here a few like a five minutes late, but it's fine. I, I'm i on the virtual line now. Um, I put my phone number down and they're gonna text me when they're ready for me to come and now I'm supposed to wait in the car. So yeah, I just got here and I'm excited. the story of how it went so my appointment was at 250 I got there about like 257 it was fine basically what I did is I put my like my name down and then they were like okay now go wait in your car until we send you a message they sent me a message at let me get my phone to see it am I in focus that's hope I am they sent me the message at 420 so we got there at 257 we got there like at 3 and then at 4.20, like an hour and 20 minutes later about, they sent a text message that like, Welcome to Soto. Your place is reserved in our virtual line. And then, apparently then I was at the virtual line. But basically what happened was then I was like able to like go inside the building. And then I was just like waiting there like inside. So there were like chairs, but you know, since of social distancing and there were kind of like a lot of people. It wasn't like packed, but there was like a lot of people there. We kind of waited and, you know, we stood for a while and then we sat down. And then, in there, they gave me this little ticket that had, like, a number. It was a 700s. I was 713. Good number. But they started at, like, 707 when I went in. And then at 430, um, it sent me a message. I didn't see it until later, but your ticket has been called. And she said it over the speaker, and I just heard that. And then I went in there. We went and talked to, like, this guy that was working. And I showed him all of my documents and stuff. And I took this, like, really quick vision test and it was so quick and then like literally I went to take the picture the picture was such a funny part because when I got there to take the picture like I was talking to my mom and then like I, I was fixing my hair and then I went like this and they took the picture um so then we had to retake the picture my friends told me that it would take a long time I didn't know it would take that long time oh also and the place closes at like five because I left at five like I don't know what would happen if I didn't leave at five and if they're gonna tell me to come back I don't know I got like the latest time like when I looked at it it was like a month from now right but whatever the only like the latest time of the day was 250 and I couldn't get it earlier because you know I still have school it's my last week of school but I still have school but since it was Wednesday today's a Wednesday um, I left at 230 so I was able to get there at 250 I'm watching the video right now and I just noticed that like the last clip was like unfocused sorry guys it's like a new camera I'm still like learning it <laughs> But yeah, get this beautiful angle of me at least. This is focused. Um, sorry about that, but I will get better at this. Also, you guys, something funny is since I like left school, I like didn't really have to any change. So I was I'm just wearing like a normal black shirt, and then I'm like literally wearing my uniform skirt. That's why I'm making this video, guys. So you guys don't have to go through all the stress that I had of not knowing, of not knowing so many things. So yeah, I finally got my permit. I'm so excited. If you guys notice the difference in my hair, it's because I'm filming this a little bit later. 
and I'm officially driving now, you guys. So maybe a video about me driving, and you know, actually driving. Maybe a little chat, a little Q and A while I'm driving will be coming out soon. So make sure to hit the notification button for that. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and like I said, hit the notification button for when that video comes out, you'll be notified. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in one of my other videos. Bye.